art cards here, and this is Easy Access Math. And today, we are going to talk about percentage problems. You know, there are three types of percentage problems, and they can be illustrated by using this triangle. You will be given two out of three elements needed in a percent problem. There's the part, the whole, and the percent, the percentage that you're using. And usually in a percent problem, always you'll be given two pieces of that information. You'll need to figure out the third. Percent problems are all often presented in word problems, in situations that you have to figure out. So you have to identify which two elements you have and then proceed to figure out the third. And again, you could use this triangle to help you. Let's look at some of these percent problems I have illustrated on the other side of the board. On the top we have an $80 shirt is reduced by 75%. Well, I have the original price, which is $80, and that is the whole, and I have the percentage, 75%, and that is the, part, the percent, and I'm looking for the part. Now, notice on my triangle, whole and percent are next to each other. That indicates you would multiply the whole by the percent. So I will work this one out here. I have the $80 shirt and I have 75% and if I do the math and I do 80 times 0.75 I get 60. Now you have to read the problem carefully. 60 is not the answer to the question uh, the shirt is reduced by 75%, but often you will be asked to find the new price of the shirt, not the reduction. If you ask for the reduction, then 60 is the reduction, that's your answer. But if you ask for the sale price, the new selling price, reduced, it means you have to subtract. So you take your original cost, the 80, subtract the $60, and your new selling price for the shirt is $20. That's a good buy. That's one kind of percent problem where you have the whole and you have the percentage. Again, uh, if you ask for the actual reduction, the percentage, that's 60. Uh, that was $60. But if you ask for the new price, sometimes it involves a second step. I had to take the 60 away from the original price, uh, the 80, and my new selling price was the 20. So always read the problem and see what they're asking for. Read it carefully. Now, um, let's look at the next type of percent problem. Here we have 20% of, of the class takes a car to school. If six students take a car, how many are in the class? So here we have the percentage, I see the 20%, and I have the part. I have the part and the percentage. Now if you look at our triangle, part is on top, percentage is on the bottom. When you have a top and bottom, you divide. You divide the part by the percent. So in this case, 6 divided by 20%. And if you're doing long division, it would look like this. 6 divided by 0.20, move it two places. 20 goes into 60 three times, 3 times 20 is 60. And I have that 0, my answer is 30. 
So if six, uh, 20 percent uh, represent six students, you're looking for the whole. You have the part, you have the percent. You divide the part by the percent. Remember to move your decimal places when you do that. And you end up with your whole, which is 30. And in this case, remember, when you have the whole, the whole is usually, there are situations where it's not, but usually bigger than the part. Um, your last type of percent problem is the one where you're not given the percentage. You have the whole. And you have uh, the part. On a snowy day, 12 students are absent. If those are, if there are 48 students on the roster, what percent is absent? Okay, what is the percentage? So, we have the whole and we have the part. The part goes on top, that's the 12. The whole is the 48. So we have the 12 divided by the 48, and again, I will move the decimal point, I will keep the decimal point, but be sure you put it in above where it goes. Your answer will usually be a decimal, which we can convert to a percent by moving the decimal point two places. So I have 48, and I have 12, and I divide, and I have 48 uh, goes into 120, because it doesn't go into 12. How many times? It goes two times, which is 96. And uh, I subtract uh, 120, take away 96, gives me 24. Bring down another zero, because you could bring down as many zeros as you need. And uh, 448 into 240 is 5. 5 times 48 is 240. There's no remainder. I have 0.25 when I move that two places and put the percent sign in. I have 25%. So the 12 students represent 25% of the class. And those are the three types of percentage problems. Right now, let me change the numbers around and... Okay, so we changed around the numbers a little bit and I want you to try to do it and then I'll work it out. So once I read the problem, stop the tape, work these out, freeze the tape, and then I'll work it out. Let's see if you can come up with the answers. Uh, the first one, uh, remember, use your triangle. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. I'll erase those, and I'll erase those. And for the first one, uh, we have a $60 shirt, and it is reduced by 80%. Changed around the numbers a little bit for you. The second, we have... Okay. What I'd like you to do now is I changed up the numbers a little bit, and I'd like you to try to work these out. So after I read the problems, figure out what the procedure is looking at our triangle, freeze the tape, and see if you can work out the three different types of percent problems and what your procedure will be. And uh, then I'll be here to finish it up and give you the answers. So, first one, a $60 shirt is reduced by 80%. Uh, give me the new selling price. Remember what you have to do. Uh, new selling price, we'll write what is the new price. That's the question. 40% of the class in the second kind of problem takes a car to work. If six students take a car, how many are in the class? All right, changed up the number. Uh, and on the final one, on a very snowy day, there are 36, uh, 36 students are absent. If there are 48 students on the roster, what percent is absent? All right, 
freeze the tape, freeze the video, and I'll be back when you unfreeze it to go over the... Okay, we unpause the video. So now I'm ready to go over these examples with you. Uh, first one, a $60 shirt is reduced by 80%. So I have 60 times 0.80, I have the percent, and I have the whole, the original price. And I get 48, $48, uh, but that is the reduction. Now I take that reduction and I subtract, and $12 would be my new selling price those numbers. Okay, in the second example, 40% of, of the class takes a car to school. So I have the percent, 40%. If six students take a car, how many are in the class? So it's six divided by 40%. Remember, if I have a decimal point on the outside, I move it two places. I move the inside two places. Now I have 40 into 60 goes once. Once times 40 is 40. And that gives me a remainder. Now 40 into 200 is 5. 5 times 40, 200, works out, and whew, I'm glad there's a whole number because you can't have fragments of students. 15 students were in the class, uh, if 40% represented the 6, 6 represented 40%, then for the whole class, the whole 15. That's how you do the second type. And in the third, I'm missing the percent. So I have the part, I have the whole, the part is 36, and I divide by the whole, which was 48, and 36 divided by 48 gives me 0.75, and when I move that two places, 0.75 is 75%. So I divide the part by the whole, part by the whole, and I have 70.75, which is 75% when I move it two places. And that's how you work percent problems. Remember there are three different types.